Welcome back to another episode of This Week in Track and Field. So we did have one competition that went down this past week, and we have a couple competitions to look forward to this summer. First off, we're going to take a look at that Oslo Diamond League. Unfortunately, the Diamond League didn't go down, but it did go down as the Impossible Games in Oslo, Norway. It featured a couple off-distance events like the 200-meter hurdles, the 300-meter hurdles, but there were two main performances that really highlighted the event. First off, in the men's 300-meter hurdles, the only competitor was Karsten Warhol home from Norway. He is a 400 meter hurdle world champion from 2019. He was going as a world record attempt in this 300 meter hurdles. All by himself, he managed to run away, demolishing the world record in 33.78 seconds, breaking that previous world record set of 34.48 seconds back in 2002. Again, all by himself, he didn't need anyone else in the race to be able to push him. He attacked the hurdles, came away with that world record, showing that he's definitely going to be attacking the 400 meter hurdles world record next year along with Samba and Benjamin. So keep a lookout for Carson Warholm in those hurdles. The other event that was really a highlight here was the men's 2000 meter run. We had Team Kenya, which featured Timothy Chariot and Elijah Manigoy going up against Team Ingebrigtsen, which featured the three brothers of Jakob, Henrik, and Philip Ingebrigtsen. This turned out to be kind of an uneven race. The Kenyans were competing in Nairobi at altitude and unfortunately had very bad conditions with some cool weather and a lot of heavy rain. So they didn't really perform that well, but then the Ingebrigtsens, they really performed in some good weathers on the track in Oslo. Jakob Ingebrigtsen came away with the fastest time in 4 minutes 50.1 second really demolishing the European record and moving him up to number six all time in the 2000 meters again it's a very off run event not raced very frequently but this is still showing he is very consistent he's definitely in contention next year for Olympic medals at 1500 meters and 5000 meters and this definitely shows that he's in a great position to keep on that track now let's head over to the next meet that we have coming up on July 9th the Zurich Diamond League is not going to be going down as normal it's going to be contested as the in inspiration game. So this is going to be contested as three-way competitions going down across multiple venues across multiple countries around the world, of course, because of the situation right now. But there's some high quality names at some great events that we do have coming up here. There's going to be a women's 150 meter race, which will feature Allison Felix in the United States, Mujinga Kambunji in Switzerland, and then Shawnee Miller Weibo competing for the Bahamas. We're also going to see the women's 300 meter hurdles featuring Dalila Mohammed, the world record holder, Olympic champion, world champion. Also, she's going to be going up against Leia Sprunger from Switzerland and then one other contestant to be announced. On the men's side, we're going to see the 100 yards contested. This is an event that's very rarely contested, hasn't been contested in a long time, likely. We're going to see Andre de Grasse from Canada go up against Omar McLeod from Jamaica and also Jimmy Vico from France. So this is going to be a very good race, likely going for that world record. We're also going to see Noah Lyles competing in the 200 meters. He's also going to be racing against Alex Wilson from Switzerland. So very great competition to look for forward for there. And then also in the triple jump, we're going to have Omar Krata, Pedro Pablo Pichardo, and Christian Taylor going in that triple jump. So a lot of great competitions going down. We're also going to see a women's pole vault, a women's three by 100 meter relay, which I've never seen before in my life. And then also one other competition that's going to go down for the men. So this is definitely one to look out for. Again, we'll be competing over multiple venues, over multiple countries. So definitely keep a lookout for how that meet goes. And we're definitely going to be recapping it as well. Finally, speaking of Noah Lyles, he actually posted on Instagram some time trials he did in practice. He did the 150 meters and 300 meters. In that 150 meter run, he did a time of 14.46 seconds. And in the 300 meters, he managed to run 31.51 seconds. So really great performances. Again, these are only time trials, so not official results. But what this shows is that Lyles is still in very good shape. That 300 meter run of 31.51 seconds would have made him number eight all time in the 300 meters out outdoors if it was an official race. Of course, we know he's already the world record holder at the indoor 300 meters from 2017. So this shows that he's in very good shape. Again, we're going to see him at the Zurich Inspiration Games in the 200 meters. So definitely going to be looking out for that. And we're definitely going to see him challenging for the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympics next year. So those are just some of the highlights from this past week. Again, some races are going to be coming up on the calendar. The Diamond League should officially be starting back up in August. Not sure what the restrictions and how it's actually going to be fully run, but still on the calendar definitely keep a lookout for those. Make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.